It's Friday night. That means Gula football right here on CPM Sports. I'm Harold Tillman, and be bringing you tonight's game from the top of War Memorial Stadium. Pascagoula getting ready to battle the Indians of Biloxi. Pascagoula is going to definitely have to come out with their game face on. They're going to have to play tough. But more important than that, because they've shown that they can play tough at times, they've got to put four quarters together. They've got to start, and they've got to finish. And that all starts tonight. We can't afford to lose another one. That's just that's just how it is. We have got to put four quarters together. We have to leave here tonight with a win. Elvin Taylor is the working man's candidate. He knows the value of hard work, keeping your word, and doing what's right. Calvin's honest and trustworthy. He's represented folks just like you over the last 30 years and is trusted by thousands all across Jackson, George, and Greene counties. When it comes to judicial experience, he's got it. For 20 years, he's served you in some sort of judicial capacity. Since 2018, he's been the city judge in Ocean Springs. The director of the MacArthur Center of Justice named him as one of the best city judges in the great state of Mississippi. Calvin is the only candidate endorsed by law enforcement. From sheriffs and chiefs of police to prosecutors and constables, Calvin's their man. All three former circuit clerks from each county have endorsed Calvin. That's 64 years of combined experience. Who better than them to know what it takes to run a circuit court? They know, and they trust Calvin Taylor. So on November 8th, vote experience. Vote qualified. Vote trusted. Vote Calvin Taylor, circuit court judge. And here come the Panthers. That's right, one more time from War Memorial Stadium. One more time this year. Looking forward to a good game. Biloxi's coming in. They're trying to make the playoffs. Pascagoula's trying to make the playoffs. But it has to start tonight for Pascagoula. Cannot afford to lose this game. Pascagoula wins the toss. They've deferred to the second half, so they will be kicking off to Biloxi. 
back deep for Biloxi. Number two, Fillmore. And I believe that's going to be number one, Chase DeLauder. Talking to Coach Sims earlier, we had a really good week of practice. So hopefully that's going to carry over to tonight. Start and finish strong for Gula. At least that's the plan. Kicking four pass Gagula, Mason Kramer. Number 11 with the fair catch. Going to be Troy Suttoth with the fair catch about the 30 yard line. So it will be first and 10 from the 30. We'll see Pascagoula's defense first. Going to have Josh Battles anchor in the center of that, uh, that defensive line for Gula. Number 66, Isaiah Marshall. And Gerald Terrell, going to be a handoff, trying to get around the end. A lot of pursuit from Pascagoula. Going to be hit and hit hard as soon as he turned around. Big Johnny on the spot. Big number, going to be number 22, Nick Davis on the tackle. A lot of speed coming from that far side over there. They're going to give Caleb, Caleb Ely some credit for that tackle also. Going to be a handoff up the middle, and he's going to run into a wall of Panthers. Big Josh Battles on the tackle. Along with number 66, Isaiah Marshall. They're going to say third down and 20 for Bluxy, passing down. So look for them to air it out here. He's going to overthrow the intended receiver, number 12, and keep an eye on him, folks. That's going to be their, their preferred uh, target tonight. That's going to be Duran Parrish. I'm going to have flags on the play. I'm going to say holding Biloxi, and it'll be declined. Back deep for Gula. Looks to be Parnell. A lot of pressure coming off the edge. Hits the, it hits the player on the helmet. He picks it up. He's going to have a decent return, be tackled out of bounds about the Biloxi 45.
brings up third down and two. So Pascagoula with a third and two. Isaiah Ben's usually good for three or four yards at least to carry. Going to have number five, May. Number 10, Parnell to the bottom of your screen. Barnes to the top. In and out of the hands of Barnes. So that's going to bring up fourth and two. Barnes just not able to bring it in. Hand off again up the middle to Isaiah Benz. He's trying to get around in. He's going to be, he's going to, he's, I think he's got that first down, folks. Nice second and third effort by Benz. Keeps his feet. That's going to be first down, Gula. Benz with the carry again. He's got some room. He's going to cross the 20, cross the 15. Looks like he got about to the 14 yard line. Correction, they're going to mark him on the 15. That will move the chains again for Gula. Ben good for a 14 yard rush and another Raisin Canes first down. Quarter with another handoff to Ben's. Ben's still on his feet, running forward. They're going to give him about the 11 yard line. Rush by Isaiah Ben for three yards, brings up second down and seven. Talking to Coach Cochran, the running back coach before the game, and he said that Isaiah Ben's had one of the best weeks of practice that he's had this year. So hopefully that carries over also. We transfer that onto the field, pick up some big yardage tonight. Parnell with the direct snap. He's going to be brought down about the nine yard line. Feet cut out from under him. Two yard rush by Keelan Parnell brings up third down and five. So Pascagoula looking at a third and five. Ball on the 10. Parnell again, gonna hold, keep the ball. He drives forward. Gonna be just short of the first down. Looks like the wrecking crew coming in for Gula. We'll see what we dial up. Ben's with the carry. He's going to push forward. He will pick up the first down ball, or the tackle was made on about the two yard line. Correction, one yard line. Wrecking crew stays in. Bluxy's going to stack the box there. It's going to be touchdown, Pascagoula. So Pascagoula strikes first, putting some points on the board early. Five minutes, 52 seconds left in this quarter.
Tank Bishop on the hold tonight. Ty Johnson with the long snap. It's down and up. It's good. So Pascagoula, seven, Biloxi, zero. Five minutes, 52 seconds left in this quarter. We'll be back right after this. The Pascagoula Panther High School live stream is made possible by these sponsors. Hi, I'm Paul Burnett, Operations Manager at Falter TV and Air. We're looking to expand our team. We offer 401k, paid insurance, paid vacation, paid holidays, and on-the-job training. If you're willing to learn, I'm willing to train. Come join our team at Falter's Heating and Air. Foster's Air, call them with air. Home of the old reliables. So Pascagoula with a short sky kick. It was fielded and downed at the 30-yard line. Correction, 37-yard line. The player received the ball, went to step, and slips down. Sorry about that. The camera guy said that we were stuck in a commercial. And sometimes we can't break from that. Whoa! Tell you what. Isaiah Marshall about ripped his head off. His feet come out from under him. His head hit the ground first. That's going to be definitely 15-yard face mask. So that will move the chains for Biloxi. So Biloxi on the 50 yard line. Fillmore on the carry for Biloxi. We'll see if he picked up any yardage. He might have picked up maybe six inches. So that'll bring up second and they're gonna say second and 10. Don't fall asleep. Watch number 12. He's going to be the, in the Biloxi uniform just uh, to the bottom of your screen. That's going to be Duran Parrish. He's there. He's their weapon for sure. Quarterback dropping back, and he hits number 12. He's going to be tackled about the 37-yard line. That will move the chains again for Biloxi. Your quarterback... Zach Martin, number 16, on the run, rolling out, hits number 12, and they will pick up the first down for Biloxi. Ball on the 37, four minutes, 29 seconds left in this first quarter. Pascagoula leading 7-0. Handoff up the middle. Fillmore was your ball carrier. Tackle made by Isaiah Marshall and Tank Bishop. Rush by the Marion Fillmore for a two-yard tackle made on the play by Jalen Parnell. Brings up second down and eight for the Indians. Uh, Jalen Parnell also on that tackle. Fillmore with the carry again up the middle. This time he's going to be hit and hit hard. We've got flags coming in. They pump. It looked like they were some uh, punches thrown. Field after the play. 
there is there is no way they didn't see both both of them. If one one goes out, the other one ought to go out too. So battles will come off the field, and that'll be a 15-yard penalty. It looks like it will be against Gula. Hopefully, it'll offset. Uncharacteristic of Josh Battles. Never seen, never seen that before from him. Something had to have been said. Something had to have happened. Like I said, uncharacteristic of, of Battles. Sims pleading his case. Number 79, Destin Franklin in that nose guard position. You can hear the Biloxi faithful, buddy, I tell you, they're upset with the call. Both coaches getting explanations from the uh, officials. That lets you know at home, hey, look, these guys are playing with uh, a lot of emotion tonight. Both teams need this win. If they're going to stay in the playoff hunt, you have to have that win tonight. We'll see what... Uh, the white hat has to say. Oh, I guess it's going to be offsetting. So ball's going to be on the 37-yard line. It's going to be third and nine. Martin with the handoff to number two, Fillmore. Number 22 for Pascagoula. Nick Davis on the tackle. Gerald Terrell in on that tackle also. That's going to bring up fourth down. Back deep for Gula. Parnell. Ball's going to come to rest about the 22 yard line. So Pascagoula. We'll take over. We're going to keep it here? All right. So we'll see that Pas Pascagoula offense again. And if you're a Panther fan, you want to see the same thing. You want to see them drive the ball down the field, deposit it in that end zone, put some more points on the board. Amari Jackson in the backfield with Quarter. Hand off to Jackson up the middle, and he's got some room. He breaks through the line of scrimmage, and he's going to be brought down about the 36-yard line, maybe the 37. So that will move the chains for Gula. Two minutes left in this first quarter. Pascagoula leading 7-0. Hand off again to Jackson. Jackson's going to stumble across the 40 to about the 42. We've got a Panther down. We'll take a break. Be right back. 
The Pascagoula Panther High School live stream is made possible by these sponsors. It's re-election time. I'm your Chancery Judge Tanya Hasbrook and I've been serving Jackson, George, and Greene Counties since 2019. Before that, I was an attorney for 28 years and served as an assistant district attorney for 12 of those years. I care about my work and the people that come before me. Most importantly, I care about the children and the elderly. I'm asking for your vote for re-election on November 8th. Hasbrook is the name to remember. I'm your Chancery Court Judge Tanya Hasbrook and I approve this message. Gonna pick up two. That's gonna bring up third and about two. Are we back on? Okay. Gonna have number 15, Brian Barnes, to the bottom of your screen. Another handoff to Jackson. He's going to pick up the first down. So that will move the chains for Gula. Another handoff to Jackson. He's got a little room. He's going to cross the 50 to about the 46-yard line. So that would be a nice first down pickup for Gula. He's going to bring up second and four. Tell you what, that first quarter is going to come to an end. Pascagoula leading 7-0. We'll be back right after this. This game is brought to you by Calvin Taylor for Circuit Court Judge. Don't forget to vote on November 8th. Fletcher Construction Company has established itself as one of the leading commercial and industrial contractors on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. The superior quality of their construction has met and exceeded customers' expectations for decades. Having successfully completed projects ranging in size from thousands to millions of dollars, Fletcher has the experience to complete any size project on schedule and within budget. Fletcher Construction Company, 3311 Shortcut Road in Pascagoula, a proud sponsor of Panther Football on WGUD. Ingalls Shipbuilding is a proud sponsor of the live stream for Pascagoula Panther football. And we're back, getting ready to start this second quarter. As I said before, before the commercial break, Pascagoula leading 7-0. Ball's on the 46-yard line. Amari Jackson in the backfield with quarter. Quarter looking downfield. He's going to hit Parnell. Parnell. It's going to be it's going to be a first down and a little more. Nice quick pass to Parnell. Parnell had some room, kind of stumbled, but that's going to be a first down. Nice pass by quarter. We've got an Indian down. We'll take a quick commercial break. Be right back. I'm attorney Lee Turner with the Turner Law Group. If you are a loved one or thinking about applying for social security disability, give me a call. I can handle your case from start to finish so you can focus on your health. Let me put my local experience to work for you. You need a, an attorney who works where you live. So if you're applying for social security disability or if your claim has been denied, give me a call at 601 394-5008 or visit me online at www.msdisabilitylawyer.com. Ingalls Shipbuilding is a proud sponsor of the live stream for Pascagoula Panther football.
and we're back. Fillmore was the um, Indian that was down. He gets up, he walks off under his own power. So Pascagoula, first and 10, ball on the 38 yard line. Hand off again, no, yep, hand off to Amari Jackson. Ball comes out, we'll see if, they, if he was down or if it's gonna be uncharacteristic of uh, Amari to fumble, but that's what happened, he fumbles. Pascal not able to get on it, so Bluxy will take over. Looking downfield, the intended receiver, they're going to be number 12, and he slips down. He went to make a cut, slips down. I mean, a, a long throw. Parrish just uh, hangs it up. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Martin just hangs it up. Parrish comes down with it. That'll move the chains and flop the field for the Indians. Gonna be timeout, Biloxi. We're gonna keep it here. Give me an opportunity to let's talk about the golf tournament. It's coming up. It hasn't got too long. It's gonna be it's gonna be presented by the Pascagoula Athletic Foundation, Hickory Hills Country Club, Goshe. It's gonna be Saturday, October 29th, 8:30 a.m. Shotgun start. You check in at seven. Lunch and awards at 1 p.m. Entry fee, $80 per person. This includes green fees, carts, range balls, lunch, refreshments, and a ditty bag. Corporate sponsor fees, that's going to be $500. That gets you credit for four players and T sign. Sponsor signs are $100 a piece. It's a two-person scramble format. If you have any questions, you can give Joe Davis or Jerry Jackson a call at 228-990-7233. Again, that's 228-990-7233. Quick pass to the sidelines. Almost had him. He's still going to lose some yardage, but uh, that's going to bring him second and 12. Really thought we were going to have him on that initial contact. <clears throat> Martin drops the ball, and he's going to be hit and hit hard by Nick Davis, number 22. And number 70, I can't tell if that's 78 or 79. When he comes to the sidelines, I'll get a – that's going to be number 79, Destin Franklin. That's going to bring up third and 16, it, looks, it seems like. So watch number 12. That's gonna, he's going to drop back. He's going to hang it up. we got to get some pressure on him. He's going to be wrapped up by Isaiah Marshall and brought down. Nice play by Isaiah. Able to get a hand on him, drag him to the ground. So that will bring up fourth and long for Biloxi. Deep back for Gula. Keelan Parnell. Pascagoula jumps. We'll see if they were drawn off sides.
Marcellus Parnell on go. I tell you, he was uh, ready ready to go. False start called against the Indians. It's going to be called against the Indians, so Pascagoula was drawn off sides. So that will back them up, and we'll do it again. Everybody gets away from the ball. The ball should be down to about the 38-yard line, maybe 37. So Pascagoula will take over. So good job by that Gula defense to hold the Indians. Nice, cool night here on top of the uh, top of the stadium here. As I say, the best place in the whole play, uh, the whole stadium to watch the game. See about everything if you could just pick the numbers up all the time. Quarter hands the ball off to Benz. Benz, and he's tripped up, but will fall forward, pick up a few yards for Gula. We'll take a break. Be right. Panther football is brought to you by Parker and Rankin Real Estate. Let us help you find your Gulf Coast dream home. Call Parker and Rankin today at 228-696-8885. As a leader in mortgage lending, First Federal cares about our community, and we'll always have your best interest in mind. We are committed to the health and safety of our customers and employees. Providing you the financial services you need is always a priority. For 65 years, First Federal has overcome economic challenges and natural disasters. And we're not going anywhere. We're here for you. We are committed to taking care of our customers and employees because you're always first with us. Chance Wright, your injured Indian, walks off the field on his own. Parnell with, I'm sorry, another handoff to Benz. Benz stumbles through. He's going to pick up about eight yards on the carry, maybe a little more. It's going to be on third and one, maybe one and a half. Rush by Isaiah Big, good for seven yards. Brings up third down and one. Ball on the ground. Quarter able to get a hold to it. That was dangerous. Bluxy almost come up with it. That would have been that would have been a huge turnover. I'm not sure if Quarter was expecting the snap when it come or or was kind of looking to see where his receivers were or what. So, but it, regardless, uh, it's gonna bring up fourth down. Mason Kramer punting for Gula. Seven minutes, 35 seconds left in this half of football. Pascagoula leading 7-0. Snap comes in high. Kramer able to get it down and away. Going to be a fair catch about the 33-yard line. Haskin in the backfield with Wright. Going to be handed off to number one, DeLauder. DeLauder is going to be tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Big Jeffrey Rush comes in, able to tackle. Nice tackle. Huge loss for Biloxi. Jeffrey Rush, highly recruited. Multiple colleges looking at him, and he, he's an 11th grader, so he's got another year here at Gula.
Martin looking downfield, but hey, you've got Panthers going to bring him down. Jalen Kennard, along with number 35, that's going to be big Jalen Parnell on the tackle. Going to be another huge loss. Okay, keep your eyes on number 12, Parrish. Campbell will be defending Parrish. Can't afford to let him get behind you. He's looking to perish. It's going to be well overthrown. So that'll bring up fourth down. Parrish just broke off, broke off his route. Martin had let it go. Okay, that's going to be deep back. Keelan Parnell for Gula. Six minutes, three seconds left in this half of football. He gets it away. Going to take a Biloxi bounce. They're going to down at about the 43-yard line. So Pascagoula will take over on their own 43. They've got five minutes, 53 seconds to work with in this half, but they're leading 7-0. Need that long drive here, control the clock, burn it out, but put it in the end zone before, before halftime. Remember, Pascagoula will get the ball after halftime. So to start that third quarter, they'll receive. Hand off up the middle. Ben still on his feet, going to fall forward to about the 50-yard line. Going to be a seven-yard carry for Ben's. Again, Ben's with the carry. He's going to fall forward. It should pick up the first down. That should be a first down. Action Jackson, number 24, Amari, coming in for Gula. Ben's will take a break. Hand off to Jackson. He's trying to get around the end. He'll maybe pick up. I think it's going to be a loss of about a maybe a yard. Quick shout out to Coach Say. I know he's home and he's watching. One of my favorite Panthers of all time. Definitely, as I've said before, an encyclopedia about Pascagoula High School football, but Pascagoula High School in general. He can tell you anything you need to know about Gula. Jackson going to stumble through to a – got flags coming in. Might have been a face mask. The way his body torqued back. But he'll come off the field. Benz will report back in. We'll see what they call. It's going to be face mask, Biloxi, so that will move. I guess that's, that'll be a five-yard variety, but it's going to bring them second and two for Gula. Flags come out. I got a feeling that the offensive line for Gula, that guard on the far side, maybe rocked backwards. 
So that might back Pascagoula up. Barnes reports in for Gula. Legal procedure, Pasca Gula. So that'll back them up five and we'll do it again. Hand off to Benz. He's looking for some room to run, and he, if he could get that edge, he'll have that room, but he looks like he's going to be brought out of bounds or tackled around the 44-yard line. That's going to bring up third and long for Pascagoula. Amari Jackson will report back in. Keep an eye on Parnell, Keelan Parnell at the bottom of your screen. Indians call a timeout. We'll take it also. Be right back. Election time. I'm your Chancery Judge Tanya Hasbrook, and I've been serving Jackson, George, and Greene County since 2019. Before that, I was an attorney for 28 years and served as an assistant district attorney for 12 of those years. I care about my work and the people that come before me. Most importantly, I care about the children and the elderly. I'm asking for your vote for re-election on November 8th. Hasbrook is the name to remember. I'm your Chancery Court Judge Tanya Hasbrook, and I approve this message. And we're back. Three minutes, 13 seconds left in this half of football. Pascagoula leading 7-0. Waiting on Gula to take the field. Give me an opportunity to give another shout out to Mike Seaman. Michael Seaman watching tonight's contest offshore. So stay safe. Again, pay attention to number 10 at the bottom of your screen, Parnell. He's going to be tacked. Quarter had set up to hit Parnell, and he's going to be hit from the backside. So that'll be a huge loss for Pascagoula. So the punting crew will go in. Somebody missed the block. Kramer punting for Pascagoula. Nice punt will be fair caught about the 17 yard line. So asking this defense for Gula to step up once more. They've got, Biloxi's got two minutes, 30 seconds to work with. They have one more timeout, Pascagoula with all three of theirs. Looking for a big turnover here. Another shout out to Pascagoula's fire department. There's not a finer fire department on the whole coast. I know they're watching, so just wanted to give them a quick shout out, let them know we appreciate them. Ball on the ground. Indians will come up with it. So that'll be a loss of yardage. Be second and 11 for Biloxi. Campbell, number 12, on Parrish, number 12 at the bottom of your screen. That's your long yardage matchup right there. Handoff trying to get around the end. He's got a little room to work with. 
Going to be hit and hit hard. Got to like that by Webb. Nice hit. You're going to come up, lower the boom, baby. Jaden Webb with the big hit. It's going to be up third and nine for Biloxi. This is a Thunder Thornton third down. Dropping back, looking for number 12, and he hits him. He's hit, and he's hit hard. Better pick up a first down for Biloxi. Nick Davis on the stop. Regardless, that'll be a first down for Biloxi. Minute, 33 seconds left, and that clock is ticking. They're going to say Chris Campbell made the tackle. To me, I thought it was Nick Davis, but it might have been Chris Campbell. Going to hand the ball off up the middle, and he's got some room. It looks like he's going to take it all the way. Touchdown. And that's going to be a flag on the play. Just busted Gula up the gut. Once he broke that line of scrimmage, it was nothing but daylight. You can hear the Bluxy faithful. They don't like the call. But he kind of celebrated going into the end zone, so... Uh, I'm sure that'll be marked off on the uh, on the kickoff. Little confusion on who's supposed to be in. It's up, and no good. So Pascagoula retains the lead, 7-6. They'll have a minute and six seconds to work with. We're going to keep it here. I saw, you know, I, I, up here, like I, I keep saying, the best seats in the whole stadium. You can see everything, everything developing, and uh, as soon as he broke that line of scrimmage, there was nobody who was going to catch him. If you're a Bluxy fan, that was a, that was a huge play. We'll see how Pascagoula reacts. They're going to be kicking off on the 20 from the 25 yard line because of the uh, penalty on the touchdown play. Back deep for Gula is going to be number 24, Amari Jackson, number 10, Keelan Parnell. Love to see either one of those return the kick. Parnell on the carry, so I was wrong. That was Campbell that was back with, with Jackson. Ball's going to be brought to about the 47-yard line. Pascagoula, like I said, that will have a minute, one second to work with, but they've got all three timeouts.
Need to execute the uh, two-minute drill with a minute to work with. Got to be hustling to the line of scrimmage. Can't burn needless time. Ben's in the backfield with quarter. Just a quick pitch to Parnell. Parnell breaks through the line. He's going to bring the ball to about the 50. The clock will keep running. Pascagoula looks to call timeout. That'll be their first timeout of the half. We're going to keep it here. You want to take a break? We're going to keep it here, folks. Quick shout out to Dustin Thomas, one of Pascagoula's finest. Another shout out to Miss, Miss Jane and Mr. Warren Sims. It's going to be our head coach's mother and father watching from the house. Second and eight for Gula. Hand off to Benz. He's still on his feet. He's moving forward. He's going to bring the ball to about the 45-yard line. Clock still ticking. Pascagoula hustling to the line of scrimmage. Got to get it off. Clock play. Let's go. Got th third down. Ball on the ground. Twenty-four seconds left. Up down. Pascagoula seems to be conceding the uh, the clock, so that should bring the first half to an end. Pascagoula leading seven six, but we'll get the ball back. Did I get ahead of myself? Pascagoula calls a timeout with 3.6 seconds. Did get ahead of myself. Regardless, Pascagoula leading 7-6, but will get the ball back to start the third quarter. Did not see the timeout coming. What's important is, is that we don't throw an interception for a pick six. Can't give them an opportunity to take the lead right before half. Get tripped to the bottom of your screen. Going to have Barnes, Parnell. I think that's going to be May to the bottom of your screen. Quarter dropping back, looking downfield. Intended receiver Parnell not able to come up with the ball. Slips down. That'll bring the half to an end. Pascagoula leading 7-6. We'll be back with that third quarter kickoff after this. Calvin Taylor is the working man's candidate. He knows the value of hard work, keeping your word, and doing what's right. Calvin's honest and trustworthy. He's represented folks just like you over the last 30 years and is trusted by thousands all across Jackson, George, and Greene counties. When it comes to judicial experience, he's got it. For 20 years, he's served you in some sort of judicial capacity. Since 2018, he's been the city judge in Ocean Springs. The director of the MacArthur Center of Justice named him as one of the best city judges in the great state of Mississippi. Calvin is the only candidate endorsed by law enforcement. From sheriffs and chiefs of police to prosecutors and constables, Calvin's their man. All three former circuit clerks from each county have endorsed Calvin. That's 64 years of combined experience. Who better than them to know what it takes to run a circuit court? They know, and they trust Calvin Taylor. So on November 8th, vote experience. Vote qualified. Vote trusted. Vote Calvin Taylor, Circuit Court Judge. The Pascagoula Panther High School live stream is made possible by these sponsors.
Hi, I'm Paul Burnett, Operations Manager at Foster Heating and Air. We're looking to expand our team. We offer 401k, paid insurance, paid vacation, paid holidays, and on-the-job training. If you're willing to learn, I'm willing to train. Come join our team at Foster Heating and Air. Foster's Air, call and we're there. Home of the old reliables. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Biloxi School District Superintendent Marcus Boudreaux and the Biloxi Public School Board of Trustees, please welcome to the field the Biloxi High School Band! The Biloxi High School Marching Band is under the direction of Travis Coakley, Chris Morgan, Jennifer Smith, Scott Smith, Jesse Stevens, Warren Bristol, Paris Foreman, Tracy Carter, and Jody Dunwoody. This year, the Biloxi Band's outdoor production is entitled Spin, including music by Richard Daniel Bohr, Randall Standridge, and Thomas Newman, featuring selections from the Disney Pixar movie, WALL-E. The band is under the direction of senior drum majors, Jacqueline Wynn and Camden Mullinax. Drum majors, is your band ready? Biloxi High School Band, have a great performance.
I'm your Chancery Judge Tanya Hasbrook and I've been serving Jackson, George and Greene Counties since 2019. Before that, I was an attorney for 28 years and served as an assistant district attorney for 12 of those years. I care about my work and the people that come before me. Most importantly, I care about the children and the elderly. I'm asking for your vote for re-election on November 8th. Hasbrook is the name to remember. I'm your Chancery Court Judge Tanya Hasbrook and I approve this message.
I'm attorney Lee Turner with the Turner Law Group. If you are a loved one or thinking about applying for Social Security Disability, give me a call. I can handle your case from start to finish so you can focus on your health. Let me put my local experience to work for you. You need a, an attorney who works where you live. So if you're applying for Social Security Disability or if your claim has been denied, give me a call at 601-394-5008 or visit me online at www.msdisabilitylawyer.com. Ingalls Shipbuilding is a proud sponsor of the live stream for Pascagoula Panther football. Tonight, the band will be performing their 2022 production, Reach for the Stars. The band is under the field direction of drum majors Jacet Rodriguez, Philip Dunn, and Giselle Hernandez. Band captain is Tamara Finkley. Band co-captain is Carly Miller. Brass captain is Odysseus Sevilla Gomez. Woodwind captain is Danielis Borges. Percussion captain is Xavier Woodson. Color guard captains are Kanasia Stanton, Callista Smith, Eucrista Wally, and Grace Wiggins. Featured soloists for tonight's performance are Callista Smith, Emma Lee, Brian Alvarez, Lane Barlow, Josh Jeter, Eucrista Wally, and Haleana Martinez. Section of the week, is the percussion and member of the week is Hagen Monahan. Drum majors, is your band ready to take the field? Pascagoula High School, you may now take the field.
Tonight's game is brought to you by Calvin Taylor for Circuit Court Judge. Don't forget to vote on November 8th. Fletcher Construction Company has established itself as one of the leading commercial and industrial contractors on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. The superior quality of their construction has met and exceeded customers' expectations for decades. Having successfully completed projects ranging in size from thousands to millions of dollars, Fletcher has the experience to complete any size project on schedule and within budget. Fletcher Construction Company, 3311 Shortcut Road in Pascagoula. A proud sponsor of Panther Football on WGUD. Ingalls Shipbuilding is a proud sponsor of the live stream for Pascagoula Panther football. The Pascagoula Panther High School live stream is made possible by these sponsors. It's re-election time. I'm your Chancery Judge Tanya Hasbrook and I've been serving Jackson, George, and Greene County since 2019. Before that, I was an attorney for 28 years and served as an assistant district attorney for 12 of those years. I care about my work and the people that come before me. Most importantly, I care about the children and the elderly. I'm asking for your vote for re-election on November 8th. Hasbrook is the name to remember. I'm your Chancery Court Judge Tanya Hasbrook and I approve this message. Panther football is brought to you by Parker and Rankin Real Estate. Let us help you find your Gulf Coast dream home. Call Parker and Rankin today at 228-696-8885. As a leader in mortgage lending, First Federal cares about our community and we'll always have your best interest in mind. We are committed to the health and safety of our customers and employees. Providing you the financial services you need is always a priority. For 65 years, First Federal has overcome economic challenges and natural disasters. And we're not going anywhere. We're here for you. We are committed to taking care of our customers and employees because you're always first with us. Luxie will be kicking off to Pascagoula. You know, thinking back during halftime, thinking back to the first half, I can't help but say that uh, a lot of missed opportunities for Pascagoula. And, and we've got to clear that up this half. This, this game is too close to, uh, to, make, to make mistakes, so Back deep for Pascagoula. Going to be 10. Keelan Parnell, number 24, Action Jackson. Jackson will be on the return for Gula. Trying to get around that edge. Going to be brought down about the 30-yard line. So they pass Gula first and 10. See what Pascagoula can do this first drive. Oh. 
Parnell in the backfield. Direct snap. He's going to hand it off to Benz, and Benz has got some room. He's still on his feet. He's going to bring the ball to about the 31-yard line. What a run by Isaiah Benz. Nice blocking up front for Gula once he broke that line of scrimmage. Just made the most of it. Huge play for Pascagoula. Huge first down play for Pascagoula. But, again, that will move the chains. Parnell with a direct snap. Again, handoff to Benz. He's going to pick up about five yards on the carry. This time Parnell, does, he hands it off again. Benz runs into a wall of Indians, maybe a yard on the play. It's going to bring up third and four. Parnell follows Benz around the end trying to get, and he will pick up the first down, well, depending on the spot. They're going to say a yard short. Bring up fourth and one for Pascagoula. Pascagoula going for it. The Indians will call their first time out of the half. We'll take it also and be right back. I'm attorney Lee Turner with the Turner Law Group. If you are a loved one or thinking about applying for Social Security Disability, give me a call. I can handle your case from start to finish so you can focus on your health. Let me put my local experience to work for you. You need an attorney who works where you live. So if you're applying for Social Security Disability or if your claim has been denied, give me a call at 601 394-5008 394-5008 or visit me online at www.msdisabilitylawyer.com Ingalls Shipbuilding is a proud sponsor of the live stream for Pascagoula Panther football. And we're back. Pascagoula looking at a fourth and one. Usually a situation that we would bring the wrecking crew in. But Parnell in the Wildcat. Looks like he's going to sneak past for the first down. Started in the shotgun. Runs up under center. So that will move the chains for Gula. Keep this drive alive. Parnell with another handoff up the middle to Benz. Benz breaks through the line of scrimmage, still on his feet, trying to fall forward. Still on his feet, drags him to the drags the Indians to the five yard line. Nice play. Got to credit that offensive line for Pascagoula. Got to credit Benz for second and third and fourth effort there. So that'll be first and goal. Ball on the five. This time Parnell keeps it, going to try to get around the end. He's going to be covered up, maybe even a loss of yardage. It will be a loss on the play. Everybody, I think, was expecting Parnell to keep it. Parnell 
Even when it looked like he had some daylight, they closed to him pretty quick. That's going to bring up second and eight. Hand off to Benz again, still on his feet. Going to be brought down about the two-yard line. So that's going to be a big third down play for Gula here, and they are sending the wrecking crew in. Parnell under center. And Benz is going to be hit and hit hard in the gap. So that'll bring up fourth and three. They were calling field goal alert before the play, so uh, I looked to see the, the field goal team go out. Going to be an official timeout. The Pascagoula Panther High School live stream is made possible by these sponsors. And we're back. Looks like Pascagoula's going to go for it. Ben's trying to fall forward, did not. So, Bluxy's going to come up with a big stop. So, they'll take over on downs. Not the outcome we were looking for. Definitely a missed opportunity. So we'll see Bluxy's offense first time this half. Six minutes, 53 seconds left in this third quarter. Pascagoula still leading 7-6. sure what the conversation was about, but here we go. Handoff up the middle. Ball on the ground. Did pa Pascagoula comes up with it. Touchdown, Pascagoula. Woo! Great play. Ball on the ground. Pascagoula. Johnny on the spot. Falls on it. Touchdown, Gula. What a break. Okay, be Ty Johnson, long snapping for Gula. Tank Bishop on the hold. Mason Kramer with the kick. It's up, and good. Pascagoula extends its lead, 14-6. You want to keep it here, you want to go to a break. The Pascagoula Panther High School live stream is made possible by these sponsors. Hi, I'm Paul Burnett, Operations Manager at Falter TV and Air. We're looking to expand our team. We offer 401k, paid insurance, paid vacation, paid holidays, and on-the-job training. If you're willing to learn, I'm willing to train. Come join our team at Falter Seating and Air. Foster's Air, calling with air, home of 
the all reliable. Pascagoula with the kickoff. The Indians return it to the 42-yard line. So it'll be first and 10. See if we can hold the Indians here, keep them out of the end zone. Martin calls for the ball, handoff to number six. He's going to be tackled about the 40-yard line, so that'll be a loss for Biloxi. Number six, Christopher Norwood on the carry. Fillmore went out in the first half, and we, I haven't seen him back. Actually, I think it was around beginning of the uh, second quarter. I haven't seen him back on the field. That's their starting running back, but they, they're not losing much with um, – with Norwood. Bring up second and 12. Looking deep. Pascagoula with a good defensive play. You could see the Biloxi faithful and the receiver was wanting interference. He was blanketed. Good defensive play by Pascagoula. Coaching staff on that Bluxy side wanting an explanation. Didn't look like interference for, from here. Bring up third and 12. Hand off to. It's going to bring Norwood again, and that'll be for another loss. They're going to place the ball on the 36-yard line, and, and I'm going to tell you, I think that was generous. Back deep for Pascagoula, Keelan Parnell, number 10. He gets it off. Everybody getting away from the ball. About the 33 yard line, it'll be downed. So Pascagoula will take over. Quick shout out to my aunt Norma Jean watching from the house. Parnell at the quarterback position. He's going to have trips to the bottom of the screen. Lone receiver to the top. Ben's in the backfield with him. Actually, that was Amari Jackson. The in he steps up with the pass. The intended receiver, number four, Freifogel, falls incomplete. That will bring up second and ten. Parnell keeps it on his feet. He's going to bring the ball to about the 40-yard line. Did he fall? Nope. He's going to be short of the 40. He's going to be about the, about the 36, 37-yard line. He's going to bring up third and six, seven. Play clock never started, so 
regardless, three minutes, 56 seconds left in this third quarter. Quarter's going by fast. Hand off to Amari Jackson up the middle. He's still fighting forward. They're going to give him the 42-yard line. So that's going to bring up fourth and about three. We'll see what we dial up here. Maybe looking for the hard count, draw Bluxy off sides. No, the direct snap. Pascagoula will pick up the first down. Keelan Parnell just tucks it up the middle, barrels his way through that line of scrimmage and picks up the first down. That'll move the chains. Pascagoula retaining possession. I tell you, that's the type of play right there that if it works, hey, everything, everything's great. You don't, and everybody's questioning. But gutsy call by Pascagoula with the ball on their side of the field. Parnell looking downfield, dumps it off to number 44 for Pascagoula. It's going to be Jesse Smith with the reception. Should move the chains for Gula. Ball on the 44-yard line. Parnell keeps it. It's going to try to get around the end. But he's going to have to stretch it out. Going to be knocked out of bounds. Maybe a yard pickup. They're going to say he was down before he went out of bounds. So the clock will keep ticking. The Indians have a player down. We'll take a quick break and be right back. The Pascagoula Panther High School live stream is made possible by these sponsors. It's re-election time. I'm your Chancery Judge Tanya Hasbrook and I've been serving Jackson, George, and Greene County since 2019. Before that, I was an attorney for 28 years and served as an assistant district attorney for 12 of those years. I care about my work and the people that come before me. Most importantly, I care about the children and the elderly. I'm asking for your vote for re-election on November 8th. Hasbrook is the name to remember. I'm your Chancery Court Judge Tanya Hasbrook and I approve this message. Parnell hands the ball off to Action Jackson up the middle. He'll pick up about five yards on the carry. Four to five yards, that is. Ball's nose is going to be on just on the 40-yard line. And off to Beans up the middle. He's still on his feet. That's going to be Jeffrey Rush on the carry, not Beans. That'll move the chains for Pascagoula. Jeffrey Rush, usually see him on that defensive side of the ball. Hey, he's flip-flopped over to that offensive side tonight. Every now and then you'll see him come in whenever Pascagoula sends in that wrecking crew. Short yardage. Nice play. Nice blocking up front. Nice power running by Jeffrey Rush. Going to give him the ball again. He's hit, maybe picked up a yard and a half. He's going to be swarmed by about five, six, seven of the Indians. Amari Jackson reports in. So to bring up second and nine. Hey, put your four fingers in the air, Pascagoula. Pascagoula leading 14-6. We'll be back with that fourth quarter right after this. 
Tonight's game is brought to you by Calvin Taylor for Circuit Court Judge. Don't forget to vote on November 8th. Fletcher Construction Company has established itself as one of the leading commercial and industrial contractors on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. The superior quality of their construction has met and exceeded customers' expectations for decades. Having successfully completed projects ranging in size from thousands to millions of dollars, Fletcher has the experience to complete any size project on schedule and within budget. Fletcher Construction Company, 3311 Shortcut Road in Pascagoula. A proud sponsor of Panther Football on WGUD. Engel Shipbuilding is a proud sponsor of the live stream for Pascagoula Panther football. And we're back, Pascagoula getting ready to kick off this fourth quarter. Gonna have Brian Barnes to the top of your screen. Gonna have Webb in May to the bottom of your screen. Hand off up the middle to Jackson. He's going to barrel across the 30 to about the 26-yard line. Going to bring up third and about six. Hand off to May, I'm sorry, Jackson. He's gonna be brought out of bounds about the 25 yard line, well short of the first down. That'll bring up fourth and about three. Pascagoula looks to be going for it. Another gutsy call. Rolling to the right, he's going to keep it. Going to be brought down. It's going to be close, depending on the spot. They're going to say he did not get there, so that'll be Bluxy Ball. They'll take over on, looks to be the 22, maybe 23 yard line. 10 minutes, 40 seconds left in this game. Pascagoula leading 14-6. Still a lot of time left on the clock. Trick play. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds about the 33 yard line. Lucky for Pascagoula. So that's going to bring up second and inches. Defense has got to stay calm, got to play their football. They need to dictate. Handoff up the middle, and he's going to run into a host of Panthers. Maybe got back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe Pascagoula. They're saying Pascagoula might come up with it. They're going to say second down. So what we'll looked to be a fumble, not the case. Going to bring up second and nine. Martin with a handoff again up the middle. Jalen Parnell on the tackle. It's going to bring up third and about two, maybe three. We've got a Panther. Calvin Taylor is the working man's candidate. 
He knows the value of hard work, keeping your word, and doing what's right. Calvin's honest and trustworthy. He's represented folks just like you over the last 30 years and is trusted by thousands all across Jackson, George, and Greene counties. When it comes to judicial experience, he's got it. For 20 years, he's served you in some sort of judicial capacity. Since 2018, he's been the city judge in Ocean Springs. The director of the MacArthur Center of Justice named him as one of the best city judges in the great state of Mississippi. Calvin is the only candidate endorsed by law enforcement. From sheriffs and chiefs of police to prosecutors and constables, Calvin's their man. All three former circuit clerks from each county have endorsed Calvin. That's 64 years of combined experience. Who better than them to know what it takes to run a circuit court? They know, and they trust Calvin Taylor. So on November 8th, vote experience, vote qualified, vote trusted. Vote Calvin Taylor, Circuit Court Judge. The injured player, Jalen Parnell, number 35, the one that actually made the tackle. He gets off, jogs off the field. Got to love that. Anytime a player goes down, uh, you know, your heart goes out to him. But he was able to get up, jog off the field. So that's going to bring up, it's going to be third and about two, maybe three for Biloxi. This time the quarterback keeps it, and he's going to be hit hard by a host of Panthers. Big number 66, Isaiah Marshall. Let's see who else is getting up off the bottom of that pile. Big number 11, Jeffrey Rush on the stop for Gula. That's going to bring up fourth and two, maybe three. Pascagoula not sending anybody back deep. Indians showing punt, punt formation. Pascagoula going for it. Going to be intercepted. Was a fake punt, intercepted. Big number 32 for Pascagoula. And I do not have a number, or I'm sorry, a name for number 32. And it's probably because of the blackout jerseys not having the uh, – so I apologize for that, but heads up play by Pascagoula's defense. So Pascagoula with good field position. Parnell in the shotgun, Ben's next to him. Eight minutes, 43 seconds left in the game. Pascagoula leading 14-6. Hand off to Benz. Benz squares his shoulders going forward. He's still on his feet. He's still on his feet, folks. Dragging Indians to about the 15-yard line. What a play. If you could calculate the... Uh, the, the yards that Benz has picked up tonight after contact. I don't know how many it is, but it, it, it's, it's, been, it's been a lot of yardage tonight. This time Parnell pulls it. He's sprinting to going to be brought down about the six-yard line. Shoestring tackle. By number 33, Aiden Harrison from the Biloxi Indians. Aiden Harrison with that shoestring tackle. So it's going to be second and one for Gula. Hand off to Benz up the middle. He's going to be brought down about the two-yard line. Ben's running hard tonight. Isaiah 
So that'll bring up first and goal. Ball on about the, looks to be the two yard line. Parnell under center. He's gonna keep it, he's gonna spin toward the end zone. Did he get in? They're gonna say he was down about the six inch line. Instead of going straight forward, he spins to his left. Bring up second in inches. Hand off to Benz. Benz jumps in. They're gonna say, they're gonna say he come up short. We got a Panther down. We'll take a quick break. Panther football is brought to you by Parker and Rankin Real Estate. Let us help you find your Gulf Coast dream home. Call Parker and Rankin today at 228-696-8885. As a leader in mortgage lending, First Federal cares about our community and we'll always have your best interest in mind. We are committed to the health and safety of our customers and employees. Providing you the financial services you need is always a priority. For 65 years, First Federal has overcome economic challenges and natural disasters. And we're not going anywhere. We're here for you. We are committed to taking care of our customers and employees because you're always first with us. We're back. Pascagoula still looking at one of their players in the back of the end zone. We'll take this opportunity to talk about the Athletic Foundation inaugural golf tournament. It's going to be at Hickory Hills Country Club, October 29th. 8.30 a.m. shotgun start, check in at 7 a.m., lunch awards at 1 p.m., entry fee at was $80 a person. It's going to be for green fees, carts, range balls, lunch, refreshments, and ditty bag. We'll finish this in just a few minutes. So Pascagoula looking at a third and about one. Huge that we put the ball in the end zone. Cannot walk away from this with no... No points. How did he not get in? That's going to bring up fourth down. Huge defensive stand so far by this Indians defense. Here we go again, folks. Well, touchdown or was it not a touchdown? They're gonna say no. Pascagoula rejected. Had the ball on the six yard line. You gotta credit that defense for Bluxy. That was a uh, huge defensive stand for them. We'll take a quick break. Election time. I'm your Chancery Judge Tanya Hasbrook, and I've been serving Jackson, George, and Greene County since 2019. Before that, I was an attorney for 28 years and served as an assistant district attorney for 12 of those years. I care about the work and the people that come before me. Most importantly, I care about the children and the elderly. I'm asking for your vote for re-election on November 8th. Hasbrook is the name to remember. I'm your Chancery Court Judge, Tanya Hasbrook, and I approve this message. And we're back. Pascagoula leading 14 to six, five minutes, 35 seconds left in this game. Again, you know, looking back at the game, so many missed opportunities for Pascagoula to put points on the board, not able to do it. A lot of, a lot of that, that credit goes to this Bluxy defense. They seem to be making something happen when they needed the stops. They've come up with them tonight. So we're um, going to have to ask the same thing from this Pascagoula defense. They're going to have the ball on about the six-inch line. I don't know how we didn't put the ball in the end zone. Each time I thought, the, I thought it was touchdown Pascagoula, but not the case. Martin standing about five yards into the end zone. 
looking to number 12. They connected. Got to credit Martin and Parrish there. You got to know that's what's coming, and uh, Parrish able to come down with the ball. I tell you that the play that Pascagoula, or I'm sorry, that uh, up the middle that we give up earlier in the game. You look for them to come back to that. Quick screen, pick up about six yards, bring up second and second and three. So it was a seven yard pickup. The ball up up the middle. They're going to say first down, Biloxi. So that'll move the chains. Ball's going to be placed on the 45 yard line. Correction, 44. This defense can bend, but it, it can't break. Cannot afford to uh, let Biloxi. Put the ball in the end zone. Hand off up the middle. And he's got some room. He'll pick up a first down and more. You can slowly start to feel this momentum switching towards Bluxy. So Pascagoula is going to have to do something to, to get, get that momentum back. Ian Hardy comes off for a breather. Martin looking for Parrish. He pushes off. Where was the where was the flag? Is that's going to be touchdown? Biloxi. I, 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 he pushed off. I, I don't know why it wasn't called, but regardless, it's going to be touchdown Biloxi. So Biloxi going to go for two. Attempt to tie the game up. Martin with a handoff. He's still on his feet. Pascagoula had him, tried to, that was a clip. Flags are gonna come out. He's not gonna make it into the end zone for the two point conversion. So Pascagoula retains the lead. Four minutes, 21 seconds left in this game. Pascagoula leading 14 to 12. I'm gonna go back and Look at the instant replay. Yeah, you can see his his arm extend to push the uh, defensive back off. If you got if you got your uh, able to rewind the game at the house, do that. You'll see what I'm talking about. We got a Panther down. We want to take a break or we want to keep it here. We'll keep it here. I can finish this. Um, Athletic Foundation. Golf tournament and finish the information there. Check in for that golf tournament. It's going to be at 7 a.m. It's a lunch. The lunch and awards will be at 1 p.m. Entry fee $80 per person includes green fees, park, green fees, cart, range balls, lunch, refreshments, and ditty bag. Corporate sponsorship. That's $500. You credit. You get credit for four players and a tee. Sponsor signs are $100. Two-person scramble format. If you're interested in playing, you can contact Joe Davis or Jerry Jackson or call 228-990-7233. Again, that's 228-990-7233. Back to the action, you got to think that they might be looking, maybe the onside kick or is it maybe too early to do that? 
the way Pascagoula's been driving the ball down the field, they might go ahead and go for the onside kick here. All night, Pascagoula's been driving the ball down the field just two times, rejected. Rejected at the uh, six-inch line twice tonight. Quick kick. Bossed on the ground. What a play. Dead gum. Bloxy comes up with it. You can see the uh, sidelines for Bloxy hysterical over there. Excited. Pascagoula's defense going to have to come alive. Bloxy's got plenty of time. And watching their field goal kicker before the game, you know, uh, they've got a pretty good field goal kicker, so Pascagoula's going to have to stop Bloxy. you got to think the matchup again right now is 12 Campbell and on 12 Parrish. They got tripped receivers to the top of your screen. Quarterback in the backfield by himself in that shotgun. Looking downfield. Hits a tight end. Big pickup for Biloxi. A big pickup for Biloxi. Ball will be placed on the 29 yard line of Pascagoula. Three minutes, 30 seconds left in the game. Dive up the middle. Ball on the ground. Pascagoula almost comes up with it, not quite. So that'll bring up third and two. They're going to say third and one. Huge third down play for this team, Pascagoula here. Uh, somebody called timeout. I guess that was an official timeout. There we go. Handoff up the middle. It's going to be brought down. It looks to be short of the first down. That's going to bring up fourth and looks like two now. We've got a Bluxy player down. We'll take a break, be a quick break, and be right back. The Pascagoula Panther High School live stream is made possible by these sponsors. Hi, I'm Paul Burnett, Operations Manager at Falter TV and Air. We're looking to expand our team. We offer 401k, paid insurance, paid vacation, paid holidays, and on-the-job training. If you're willing to learn, I'm willing to train. Come join our team at Foster's Heating and Air. Foster's Air, call and we're there. Home of the old reliables. We're back. And we're back. Number 78 for Biloxi, Eli Smith walk off the field on his own. The way he went down, it, you, you kind of thought it was more, more serious than what it ended up being. Regardless, um, he's walking off the field. It's going to be fourth and two for the Indians 
Pascagoula's defense needs to come up huge here. Bluxy calls timeout. What do you want to do? We'll keep it here. Two minutes, 19 seconds left. Huge fourth down play for this Pascagoula defense. Pascagoula with all three timeouts left. Bluxy with one more. If you're Gula, you gotta go for broke here. This could be very well be the play of the game right here. Looking downfield, receiver, DeLauder with the reception. That'll be a first down, Biloxi. Ball's going to be placed on the 20. Perfect pass by Martin. Jalen Parnell on the tackle for Gula for a big loss. A 10th grader for Gula. Ball going to be placed on the 24-yard line. Minute 27 seconds left. It's second and 14. Looking to the sideline, same pass that they just threw. Fall incomplete. The same pass that they threw to extend the drive on the fourth down play. Third down for Biloxi, third and 14. Heavy rush, nice play by Campbell. I believe that was Campbell. They're gonna bring up fourth down. Tylen Wilson was on the defense. Minute eight seconds left. Bluxy tempting the field goal. It's up. And good. Bluxy takes the lead, 15-14. One minute, four seconds left in this game.
back deep for Gula. Amari Jackson and Campbell need a big return here. Need to start this drive with good field position. Campbell with the return. Gonna bring the ball to about the 22 yard line. So Pascagoula. Ball's gonna be on the 27 yard line. Pascagoula with plenty of yards to go. Trying to get into field goal position for Gula. Quarter back in under, oh, in the quarterback position. Amari Jackson in the backfield with him. Parnell gonna go out of bounds about the 40 yard line with the reception. Quarter to Parnell. Big, big play, pl clock stops. 48 seconds left in the game. Quarter dropping back again, looking downfield. May with the reception about the 42 yard line. What a catch. Gotta move the chains again for Gula. Clock play, so that'll stop the clock. 38 seconds left in this uh, game. Pascagoula with the ball on the 42. Working to get into field goal position. Quarter looking back. Again, May gets out of bounds. So Pascagoula marching the ball down the field. 34 seconds left. Coming up third and looks like a yard. Amari Jackson on the carry. Can bring the ball to the 30. I'm sure we'll call timeout, and they do. 28 seconds left. So Pascagoula will talk about it. We're going to keep it here. Don't want to miss any of this action. Both teams getting instructions from the coaching staff. A lot of action tonight, but you, hey, you can't. I, I look at, again, some missed opportunities for Pascagoula. We're doing a good job marching the ball down the field. Got to think that maybe we shouldn't have been in this spot, but that's where we are, and they seem to be doing, doing well. Quarter. Looking downfield, rolling to his right. He's going to go down. Pascagoula will call timeout again. Huge loss for Gula. 22 seconds left in the game. Pascagoula with one timeout left.
and Pascagoula to kick the field goal, they would be kicking into the wind or against the wind. So um, definitely need to get the ball around the 20 if we can. Maybe the maybe the 15. You got trip receivers to the bottom, one single receiver to the top. Ben's in the backfield blocking. Reception by Parnell. Got 13 seconds left. Ball on the 26 yard line. Whatever happens, if it's a pass to the uh, middle of the field, they've got to be running to the line of scrimmage to try to stop the clock. Huge third down play for Pascagoula. Quarter looking downfield. Good catch. Nice catch to the 20-yard line. It was out of bounds, so that'll stop the clock for Gula. Nine seconds left. What a catch. Jacobian May, is. I'm, he is starting to look like Jacobian May, the, the way he should have looked all year long. Huge catch. So Pascagoula sets up for the field goal. So Bluxy uses his final timeout, an attempt to ice the kicker. Kramer will be attempting the field goal for Pascagoula. Score 15-14 Biloxi. Pascagoula led the whole ball game until about the two minutes left in the game. Uh, they give up the lead. Two times that Pascagoula has had the ball on the six-inch line and not been able to put it in the end zone. Those those type things hurt right there. A lot of a lot of missed opportunities tonight. But we can put all that to bed if we can put the ball through the uprights here. You're going to have Ty Johnson on the snap. You're going to have Tank Bishop with the hold. Mason Kramer. On the kick. And you can hear the Biloxi faithful coming alive. It's up. And no good. Biloxi will take this one. Four minutes, I'm sorry, 44 seconds left in this game. Just not in the cards for Gula tonight. Too many missed opportunities. Kick had the distance. Next week, Pascagoula on the road will be in St. Martin. This, a heartbreaker tonight, uh, led the game all the way until about two minutes left in it. But sometimes that's, that's how things happen. So uh, Pascagoula played pretty good, just um, – not taking advantage of some opportunities. They'll kneel the ball. That'll wind the clock down. Bluxy takes this one, 15 to 14. Heartbreaker for Pascagoula. As I said, we will be in St. Martin next week. Join us right here on Friday night.